an unusual site today on a Fremont farm. I worked here 23 years and this is my first. It was just a loud explosion. And Alerted by the noise, Margie Schultz didn't know what to expect when she looked out her window. I woke up and I heard that loud noise. And so I looked out and the first thing I saw was the, the yard light dangling off the light pole. And when she went to her backyard to investigate further, she received quite a surprise. The first thing I saw was the tail of the plane and I really didn't know what it was. It was just this piece of white metal. And then I looked up and the front part of the plane with the pilot in it was you know, tipped over. Seeing the pilot was still alive, she took immediate action. So I ran up to the house and I called 911 right away. And the pilot, a 45 year old male, was taken by helicopter to the Nebraska Medical Center in serious condition. His plane clipped a fence and crashed into this barn before coming to a stop. The big question here is why did this plane crash in the field? And for right now, nobody seems to have the answer. We have no idea. Uh, the FAA is en route to investigate this and we'll leave that up to them. I don't know if, if what the cause of the crash is, so I can't really say. Dodge County Chief Deputy Bob Reynolds believes that mechanical problems could be to blame. As we understand, this is a crop dusting plane and it was being moved from Sutton to Cayman, Nebraska for maintenance. Regardless of the cause of the accident, thoughts today are with the pilot. I just said I hope God was his co-pilot today. I hope God was riding with him. That's all we can do now is pray for him. Hope he's okay. In Dodge County, Jordan Shefty, KETV News Watch 7.